What's up, guys? Welcome back to Dirtworks TV. We're just here for the ditches and the hoes. Your hole is our goal. Anyways, let's get on to the video. So today we're going to be doing a video that we're building a natural stone retaining wall. Um, it's at a customer's house that we've already done. Um, we built a big, large concrete block retaining wall. You can see it in some of our earlier videos and we came back to help with some erosion issues and we were just customer was kind of on a budget so we're just building a natural stone retaining wall all right let's get to the video so you can see we're kind of just shaping everything up here kind of just doing something simple like i said the customer's on a budget so we're not really doing some of the other steps we would a lot of the times normally before we'd put in like a good crushed concrete base put in some geo grid fabric and all that stuff we are using some good landscaper weed barrier fabric in between each layer of the stones just to protect the weeds and all that stuff but other than that we're just getting everything shaped out just doing simple erosion protection on this so yeah and the boulders we're using they're a little bit on the lower price end as far as like the way it works is the larger the boulder the more expensive they are so these ones we got at a really good price for the customer and everybody's happy it's going to solve the erosion issue for that hill washing out and it's also cheaper on the customer's wallet using the smaller rocks like that so yeah let's get to the So yeah, you can see why we're in here. We uh, we're we're also going to be doing all the drainage for this project around their house. They're getting their gutters installed, so they have one gutter installed. And you can see we're digging out behind the wall here, and we installed a large chunk of drain tile that runs from the gutter and down along the backside of that wall. And yeah, we're installing that right now, and getting all that taken care of. You can see we also dug all the trenches they had underground sprinkling put in we dug all the trenches for that we graded and installed all the topsoil and lawn and all that stuff we also did all the land clearing for this and it's like a half mile long driveway and we installed crushed asphalt on this driveway and built the turnaround and stuff like that we're also possibly going to be doing some landscaping out here and a bunch of other stuff it was whole on full brand new install good project for sure got the old the old lifted dirty max over there been super happy with that truck 2020 at4 beast and then also been super happy with that pj dump trailer once again shout out to pj it's, it's done super good job actually a lot of a lot of people i mean aren't the biggest fans but we've had great luck with it and it's been a great trailer but yeah we're so you can see i mean a lot of times behind these walls we'd install like some stone and stuff and this we're just like backfilling it with sand and dirt mixed and packing it down and letting her fly that's what the customer wants so that's what the customer gets so that's all you can do yeah so a lot of i get a lot of questions in the comments and stuff and people messaging me and emailing and stuff asking like how do we get our work and honestly a lot of it's referrals but like a huge quantity of it definitely comes from facebook i mean we do a lot of advertising like not a lot but like 
we do an amount of advertising and constantly like keep up with our social media pages and stuff and that's how we get our work i mean if you you can run like a small promotion and you'll get leads and stuff and people message you and you'll go out there and give an estimate like a job like this so what we charge and stuff like we just did time and materials on this where a lot of times like we bid the entire job and do it differently but this one just because like we already did a lot of work here and stuff and we wanted to give them a good deal and kind of help them out like with the whole project they've got a lot into it so we just charged time and materials gave them a really good rate i think we were at like 130 an hour and then the boulders i mean depending on where you're at or where you live like what kind of material you're using like call around to like a bunch of the local gravel pits and stuff and just price out the material you're using and there's apps on your phone or whatever you want to use that they have all these calculators where you measure out like the distance of the area and the height and the size of the material you're using and it'll literally tell you like how much you like yards or tons like whatever like calculation you use it'll tell you how much you need and then you'll call around local gravel pits and stuff and get a price on that material and then well i always i mean because we truck all this ourselves what i always do is i kind of i mean especially the times we're living in with like gas prices and everything else i mean it's weird customers they don't always they don't love like to see like a higher labor cost on your job so like i always try to keep the labor cost down a little bit and i try to add in some of that like cost that i would have had on there into the materials i mean all around same freaking thing it's whatever i mean I guess it's like a moral, like, so like it makes them feel better, I guess. Who knows? But anyways, yeah, so I'll upcharge on the material a little bit, and then I'll add some trucking on there, and I'll make sure all my costs are covered. Like, when you add, like, out in the material and stuff, like, and just in general, when you estimate these jobs, like, you got to think about, like, the equipment, like, that you're using to haul it and move it and stuff, like, all that stuff has payment so like every time you're using it for that job is like it's wear and tear so like you have to have that factored into like your estimate like you don't want to like be undercharging and then like over time you won't be able to upgrade your equipment and like build your company so like you always got to factor in that stuff like wear and tear is huge so like that definitely always goes in the price but yeah let's get back to her Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So yeah, you made it to the end. We appreciate it so much. Um, we'll be putting out like three or four new pieces of merch this week. You'll see it down below. And also we'll be 
putting out three new videos this week. We're trying to get back on the content game and put out as many videos as we possibly can to keep all you guys updated and just joining in the fun with us. Just living that dirt life. Being big kids with a little kid heart. Like just out here playing the sandbox. Enjoying what we do. Like that's the most important thing you can do in life is do what you love but love what you do. I don't know, same thing, whatever. But Dirtworks TV, like and subscribe. Appreciate it so much. Adios.